men and women passionate about creating a better life for their communities are waking people from sleep. They are building schools to make the children read, clinics to make the family healthy. Governor Babajidi Olushola Sonwolu seeks the ends of fellowship of this great community champion whose modest self-effort showed the energy of a vibrant state. Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Ade Joke Shodendi Adinyoju. How is your community faring today? Let's see. are the arteries through which the economy pulses. By linking producers to markets, workers to jobs, students to schools, and the sick to hospitals. Roads are vital to any development agenda of a state or country. The absence of motorable road has a far-reaching effect on the people of the community as they pass through lots of stress to get to their various destinations. The threat it poses to the economic and commercial activities of the common man can't be measured. Ismail Adegoroye is an artisan who plies his trade in Kao Street under Santos Phase 2 CDA in Alimosho local government area in Lagos State. He described how the poor state of the road affected his business. This is my workshop. I repair free JC, anything cooling. Before I rent this place, it's not like this. Thank God now. Because last year when I rent this place, I looked, ah, how am I going to make it here? Because there's no people. Motor no pass here, bicycle nobody passing here. When people pass, we know that ah, they are doing something here. But when the people is not passing, ah, they are going to know. But now when the road is okay, people look at me and they will call me. So everything is going well now. We thank Governor Sonwolu that he remember us and to repair our road. Um, I think Sonwolu is uh, the best governor. Many, like Ismail, who also trade along the street, have similar tales to tell. While residents relate their experience on the state of the road on Kao Street, which had been a sorry sight before the state government's intervention. If it rain for now, this place is very, very difficult to pass. The road is very bad that time. Okay. But, but, not, but now, everybody, all cars are like to pass this place now. Cow has always been a very bad road with no drainage. When it's raining, like now, it's rained overnight and this road is actually dried. You can't actually walk on this road. If you're driving your car, it has to be muddy before you get out of the water. But now, I think it's really, really bad. It's better. In fact, uh, it was so bad. It was too bad for vehicles to fly. People run away from the streets before the intervention. So, after the intervention, people were so pleased to see the development going on. Previously, Kao Close was a waterlogged area. Very waterlogged. It is not easily possible, either for commercial vehicles, for car, or even trekking on it. Where we are standing here, before, like the rain that fell in the midnight, this is a pool of water. We call it River Kao Close. Where we are standing. This river cows close before, but now you can stand without going through any river. Or everything has changed. Now that Mr. Babajide Somuolu has yielded to their calls by rehabilitating their road, the joy of the people of Santos Phase 2 CDA knows no bound as they commend the governor for his swift response to their calls. The governor has a lot of things to do for us. So that's the reason why how close comes about. It was an assurance directly from the governor that it is, is going to be done. At the start of the project, they were now looking. And to the completion, it was an excitement on their part. They were so happy. 
and it was a privilege on my own part as a councillor representing here. When you have a bad road or you have a bad street, that means you can start fixing your car every other week. You start um, washing your clothes every other day. But when you have good road, I think it's it's really impressive. It's it's good to the community. It's good to us because car is an access to. You can take car to Losa. You can take car to Mohammed. You can take car to Ozumba. There are lots of exit that goes out of car. So I think it's really nice. As they now enjoy the road. They speak high of the benefit the newly constructed road has brought to the community. Firstly, the issue of erosion has been diffused because passage of water now runs through the drainage. It is a very important, one of the important impacts on them. And it has opened businesses also for people. I feel proud. As a councillor representative, here, I can walk with my shoulders high because if when you represent an area, you must be able to point to something that your government has done for that immediate community. Many people now patronize this place, and even business is now, I think, a bit uh, okay than before, because it was so bad before. A light vehicles like this cannot fly this road before. Even when it is raining, like, when it rains like this, you, you know, no vehicle can fly it. But now, people, things are improved, there, there's improvement. I'm sure the landlords have increased their rent by now, now because once you have good road somewhere, everything goes up. And sincerely, if you come into car clothes, it's really looking presentable and very nice. The rehabilitation of the road has actually made it to actually give it a very new look and a better look. Community leaders speak on taking ownership of the road to ensure it serves its purpose. In the part of the government, they've done theirs. But on the part of the people, the maintenance culture, should come from them because when a road is being properly maintained it will have a long lifespan so and they are aware of that already and we've already had a discussion with them to maintain this particular road i personally i i, I monitor it so much i monitor it so so much because i know the the impact the road is giving the community so I, I monitor it so much and we have been educating the people not to not to toy with the this thing. So they, they have been cooperation. People have been cooperating. So they, we have no problem whatsoever. Okay. In maintaining this road though, there is no problem. Inside we have been educating the people that the governor is trying. That we they need our support too. Except we support them. If we don't support them they cannot they cannot do it alone. Financially, physically and whatever we have to support them. They extol the leadership qualities of Mr. Governor while they pledge to support his administration in achieving the goal of a greater Lagos. Maintainers, we will try our best as a community, we will try our best as a team. With the good work that the Governor has done, I think we will try and keep it up. But we we'll still like to appeal to the Governor to please help us still with our other roads so that we we'll have actually have better roads in the estate. But we do appreciate the Governor. He should keep up the good work. Kudos to the Governor because this is the first time a councillor is being given the privilege of picking an area that will be done by the state government, not even by the, by the state government, by the governor himself. I give kudos to him. He's a very, very commendable guest. He has done excellently well. Since the inception of his administration, he has engaged the councillors twice. He impressed me because in the history of legislation in uh, in, in governance in Lagos, he went extra mile to carry the councillors along. That is his intention of giving us this privilege and we are very happy. For him, he has done well. I will continue, we will continue to pray for him. May God, may, may God give him more wisdom to do more than, more than this. We thank our governor, Olu Shola Olu. I want to appreciate him very well, not only in this community, because I do go out, I see what he has been doing and I pray that the work that he has started he will continue so that Lagos State will develop like uh, Dubai because we go to Dubai for holidays. We want Lagos State to be as Dubai. That is where we are still going and God will take us there. We, 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 our city and our city are the real engines of growth. They are the owners of all our intervention in government. 
you need to ensure that once we set contractors out, you monitor them to ensure that they do and deliver quality service so that the schools and the hospitals and the roads that they are building meet the standard that is required of them. Every community needs basic amenities for habitable condition. While some are expectant of government intervention, others are not relenting in helping themselves to help the government. For helping community, you are helping yourself. If you have ability to do things, do it. As community stakeholders continue to contribute their quota in the development of Lagos State, Governor Babajide Songo Lu is working tirelessly to provide needed infrastructure and amenities while also supporting community initiatives for the benefit of all. Watch Lagos Community Updates on Wednesdays and Saturdays on this channel from 7 to 7.30 p.m. as we bring to your view accounts from various communities across Lagos. Lagos Community Updates, telling the story of your community. Governor Babajide Sonwulu is currently doing well said, And with all that he's doing, if he continues this way, like some governors who have made landmark before they left the scene, he will also be on a good book for the Lagosians. Lagosians and indeed Nigerians will not forget in a hurry the proactive approach of Governor Babajide Olushola Sonwulu in curbing the spread of the ravaging COVID-19 pandemic and saving the lives of millions of Lagosians and Nigerians at large from the first wave till date. This rare display of courage is one of many traits of greatness in it to the personality of Mr. Governor of Lagos State. Little wonder, health is one of the vocal points of his theme's agenda in the journey to a greater Lagos. From traffic management and transportation to health and environment, education and technology, making Lagos a 21st century economy, entertainment and tourism, to security and governance. The man, Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, is not relenting in his determination to make Lagos a smart city and Africa's economic and commercial capital. Government cannot do everything on its own. If we expect government to do everything, we might be lacking behind. So, we see need to do more by looking at other projects besides what we have done. So that when we do this, it helps the community. Whatever happens, it helps the state and it helps the whole country as a whole. So, that is necessary to ensure that we don't leave everything for the government to do. The septuagenarian is spreading the gospel of community development in the record and progressive CDA, Ifakoijai LCDA, as is quoted to the Greater Lagos Vision. Just like Governor Babajide Sonwolu, he walks his talk. Mr. Adipoya is somebody that we take the problem of your community on himself. And apart from that, he's a selfless uh, person. He handles issues as if uh, he's, uh, he's going to benefit his uh, immediate family. But he said he always think about the whole family, the whole community. And whatever the government wants, he will tell us, don't do this. Government doesn't like it. This is what government wants. He's doing everything to support the policies of Governor Babajide Sawolu, Governor of Lagos State. Every Saturday, we move around to look for security money or the houses. We move around. If there is anybody passing on the streets, we just drop any paper or anything inside the gutter so that the water will not flow. Ah, he will, he will stop the person. He make sure that he pick that dirty thing. And he will move around any house that they, there's refuse inside the, inside the gutter in front of your house. 
It will make sure that you call them out of their house and they should pick it, they should pack it out and take it to their uh, dustbin. If there's any problem in the community, that's where you will see him in front line. He will be in the front. And he, he always like to settle matters. I think these are the things I've recognized with him that uh, he doesn't take anybody, uh, uh, let's say, I don't care, I don't, I don't worry, but he takes everybody along. In your Gidino Jenny community, in your dad, I don't want to say, I don't want Moses Oduayo Adekoya, popularly called Baba Ogunleye, a nickname coined from the name of a street due to his years of community service is a community champion for today. My name is Moses Odunayo Adeko JP. I was born at Chagamu on 24th of September 1942. I was just about five when my father died. And by 1950, when I was ripe to go to school, my, that my grandfather enrolled me in the primary school, St. John's School, or That was 1950. And because of finances, I have to relocate back to Shagamu. And I was placed at St. Paul School, Maku Shagamu, where I finished my first, uh, first school living certificate. That was 1956. The first job I would get was a teaching job. And uh, I thought, just for a year. Then I was sent to grade three teacher training college. That was 1961 to 62. I had my diploma in sales and marketing. I got a job as a sales rep, sales representative with Formos Dairies Nigeria Limited, then later Formos Dairies PLC. During that period, I was sent abroad locally in management courses and I worked with that company for most part of my working period. So I think I left them 1993 or so to establish a business enterprise, Mosodo Nigeria Enterprise. That I continued with until I later uh, retired from active service because of age. At Dekoya, a community champion is a classic example of persons that have been successful in both family life and community activism with the support of his partner for more than 40 years. With my children and even my wife, they would like to see me for some certain things. But when we have meetings, they know I don't joke with a community job. So we create time for the people. I know if I pass away today, I've made a mark here. A lot will be said about me about what I've been able to achieve for them. And that makes me to be happy. And, and I think it will make my children also to be happy. Once God has given you something, you don't have no option than to accept it. Because uh, at times I used to call him a, a business center because every minute, every second, they'll be calling him. If they did not call him for Nepal, they will call him for street. They will call for missing all sorts of things. He's so occupied. I don't feel bad so much because the people he's doing it for, they do appreciate him. And they even use that uh, as their own uh, this to appreciate me as well. So that is how we left him. And uh, that makes him to be up and doing because uh, for him to just be sitting down in the house could cause uh, a lot of hard work for him. Through that uh, what he's doing, he does uh, a lot of exercise. He exercises himself. I will want uh, my children to be doing as he's doing because, and thank God, one of them is even doing, even about two or three of them are even doing it because uh, some of them are leaders in their community too. 
government is a continuum and sticking to the developmental roadmap plan is the only means to achieve such goals within the stipulated time frame. Governor Babaji De Sonwolu. Moses Odunayo Adekoya, our community champion for today, applauds Governor Babaji De Sonwolu for following the blueprint of Lagos State in the bid to attain the mega city status and becoming Africa's economic capital of, of the 21st century. I will uh, say the governor has really tried because I keep on to my television and I watch what the activities have been. Involving himself personally, he took the mantle, himself and the health commissioner. I watch them a lot. They are, they are frontliners and that's why that is not a medical person. He faces the challenge way and was making sure that things are done. The right way. I think he should keep on the way he's doing. Because when he took over, he promised that most of the projects that uh, the outgoing regime could not complete, he would do. One of them is uh, the Penn Cinema. And when you talk generally, he has done a lot uh, all over the state. Because you get here, uh, and you see, this is a uh, project being carried on by the state government and so on and so forth. Governor Babajide Sonwolu is currently doing well, I've said. And with all that he's doing, if he continues this way, like some governors who have made landmark before they left the scene, he will also be on a good book for the Lagosians. <music>